Anyway, for several young politicians, winning the elections has been, has been a name game. In some areas, political clans have remained deeply etched into voters' minds. The Marcoses are now making a comeback. The Simpsons still are a force in Ilocos Sur, the Estradas in San Juan, and the Binays in Makati also continue to rule. But in Quezon City, George Banal Jr. had defeated two-termer Congressman Matt Defensor Jr. in the city's third district. The Ermita dynasty in Batangas' first district this time fell in the hands of former Customs Commissioner Tomas Tom Apasible, who ran against Executive Secretary Eduardo Ermita. The Ermitas had been ruling the first district for the last 18 years. And tonight we're going to meet some of these uh, politicians. We're joined here in the studio by George John Banal Jr., who defeated Matt Defensor in the congressional race in Quezon City's 3rd District. And also joining us, Tom Apasible, who defeated former Executive Secretary Eduardo Ermita in the congressional race in the Batanga, or in the 1st District of Batanga. Good evening, gentlemen. Welcome to the rundown. Good evening, Seth. Good evening, Ricky. And we do understand both have already been proclaimed. Yes, yesterday I was uh, happily proclaimed. I didn't expect it so soon, but it came. So how did you do it, Congressman-elect uh, Apasible? Oh, it will take me the whole night to tell you. But, you know, <laughs> actually the uh, bottom line, bottom line, the people were just uh, clamoring for a change. So nila magkaroon ng pagbabago, and I happened to be the only uh, candidate there to offer the change. And uh, definitely, uh, being with Noema, you helped a lot, and by uh, opponent being with the, uh, President Gloria also helped a lot because they, they really uh, did not want anybody associated with Gloria anymore. But I suppose uh, they had um, a wealth of resources ag uh, uh, against you. Well, definitely, I'm sure, because uh, remember, uh, he was executive secretary, but uh, people don't remember, but I filed a case against him, a motion for intervention that uh, made him, uh, you know, resign from his position as executive secretary. I think that helped a lot because, uh, you know, mga maanong ang, ang kapangyarihan, pag wala ka na, hindi ka na sinusood ng mga tao, pero akala niya siguro susood din. Pasta kaya nung huli, he was really on his own. Mm -hmm. But uh, it, I, I suppose it's the first step, really. What, um, did you have any qualms when you filed your certificate of candidacy that you were up against you know, the executive secretary. I never thought of it that way. I just wanted to help Noy Noy. I because things will work out, and uh, once I got into it, I said, I, I know the family, so I knew they had like, quite a few witnesses. I just worked on it. I went to the barangays directly. I didn't sa mga political leaders because wala naman ako pera bibigay din. Wala akong resources. So, nangamay lang ako na nangamay. Nung ginawa ko, nung katapusan, and before I knew it, I was I was winning already. And the momentum was so great, he couldn't stop it anymore at the end. Congressman Banal, you ran against Matt Defensor. That seat had been held by, if I'm not mistaken, Matt Defensor for at least two terms. Before that, it was his son, Mike Defensor, who held that seat. When you decided to run, did you really think you would win, or was it really, as uh, Congressman Apasiba says, he just really did it because they needed to field someone against these people? When I first decided to run, I was the only Liberal Party member in Quezon City. So uh, it was my duty, I think, to put up a fight. I didn't expect that uh, Herbert Bautista and Joy Belmonte and all the others will uh, shift to the Liberal, li Liberal Party. So I'm very fortunate in that regard. Plus we had uh, many volunteers, many prayer warriors who supported me. So you actually made the leap to the LP before uh, Mayor Belmonte and the others? I joined the Liberal Party in 2002. I ran for councillor in 2004. Mm. Okay. And, and uh, when, when Belmonte and uh, Bautista shifted to the LP, did that help you a lot? It helped me a lot, yes. Before, we, when I started out last year, I was uh, planning to put up just a uh, ragtag team, mm -hmm. probably just me and three councillors. But it was uh, the turn of events really was uh, unexpected, and uh, I'm very fortunate, let's put it that way. How much was the association of the Defensors with Gloria Macapagal-Arroyo a factor in your victory? I think napakalaking bagay no eh. Parang sila associated with the uh, GMA, tapos ako naman talagang tinulungan ni Senator Noy Noy at ni Senator Mar. I think malaking bagay, especially in our district, where we have all the subdivisions, the villages, plus very strong middle class. Mm. And yung urban poor namin, very enlightened. Nandiyan yung mga premier universities like uh, UP, Ateneo, and Miriam. Mm. So I think um, 
malaking bagay po yun na malinaw po kung saan sila nakaalyado at malinaw din kung saan ako nakaalyado. But that wasn't the case in 2007. Um, you know, there was already a strong sentiment against the administration, but uh, Congressman Defensor still prevailed. Um, parang virtually unopposed yata siya ng 2000. So it was ang ladlad. Um, Not a remote. Not a remote. Yeah, that, yeah. So, okay. and, and it was, uh, I suppose, a last minute candidacy. Yes, he, he didn't really campaign. He didn't go house to house. Nothing mm -hmm. like that. Mm -hmm. Congress like it, yeah, go ahead, sir. I'm sorry. Unlike in our case, uh, talagang todo kampanya. Do you think, Congressman, that um, if he did not have uh, Belmonte and uh, and uh, Bautista backing you, that you would have won? I mean, there's what you you know, there's there's people who ran ragtag campaigns, but because Gloria was so unpopular in their area, they won. And there are people who also had resources uh, who won. In your case, uh, do you think you could have won without that support? That's a very good question. I think it would have been tougher. Right now, yung laban namin yun, napakahirap din. Um, grabe yung resources nila. Plus, uh, the Sunday before the elections, uh, nasa front page ako ng lahat ng tabloid na nililink ako dun sa mga uh, paninira nila kay Herbert Bautista. So, very tough. Uh, mm. Siguro po kung wala si Mayor Belmonte tsaka sila Herbert Bautista, mas mahirap po yung laban. Mm. Did they run a very dirty campaign? Um, siguro po, uh, 